welcome back to another vlog it is monday i just got back from my 9 15 at 45 class it's like 12 o'clock right now because rochelle and i went to a new coffee shop and bakery after our workout it's called jacked up coffee and then like bell v cafe or something so i just got an iced latte at the jacked up coffee place it was pretty good it is so aesthetic it was like an old mr lube so there's a garage that opens up it's really cool and then from the bakery i got a ham and brie croissant and then a pear danish kind of a little cheat day but it's okay you guys know every monday i apply my olaplex mask so that's what we're gonna do right now before i get in the shower i'm not gonna show it just because i've featured it in so many vlogs i think i will talk to you guys once i'm done out of the shower and everything but i just used the olaplex number zero and olaplex number three this first and then you leave it for 10 minutes then apply this and then Leave it on for at least 10 minutes and wash it off in the shower. I'll link a vlog up in the card here if you guys want to see me applying it. But I've already shown it a few times. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, hi guys. I have the number three mask in my hair right now. And we're in my laundry room. If you can hear stuff, it's because my mom has a client down there. But I went to the first kind of like festival show back on saturday and it rained a few hours prior to the show so these are current situation of my new nikes that like what so i need to clean these right now while i have the mask in i just got a clean like i just opened this toothbrush and i'm gonna use dish soap to clean it i don't really know if this is gonna work but i'm hoping that it will so i'm gonna set you guys up and try to figure this out. <laughs> best it's gonna get i got it pretty clean you can still see like dirt in the stitching here and on the bottom but i give up this is like fine with me if you guys have any tips how to like clean in here let me know in the comments but i'm gonna go ahead and do the other one all right i am out of the shower now but i wanted to show you guys a new product that i was sent by the way which i'm really excited about so I've been using it in the past probably three weeks. Hi guys, so I'm just popping in here because I kind of just randomly started talking about <laughs> the way leave-in conditioner and I didn't even give you guys kind of background where I was coming from. So basically, I announced this on my Instagram already, but if you guys follow me over there, you would know first. So definitely follow me there, but I did a review for the way leave-in conditioner and it's on the Sephora website, which is so fucking cool. So I'm on the app right now. And if you go to the gallery, you can see all the photos and reviews. And if you swipe, you'll see me. Hello. Yep. So basically that's why I randomly started talking about the way we even conditioner because I love it and it's just very cool that I'm on the Sephora website. Limited edition leave-in conditioner in collaboration with Byredo which is a perfume company from France I believe so it's basically like the original leave-in with the Mojave Ghost Byredo scent and it smells incredible. I'm obsessed with it. Let me oh my gosh i will have this link down below it's sold at sephora and everything you can already see how much damage i've done if you guys like the original leave-in you will love this product because it's the same thing but smells way better and look how easy it makes it to brush through your hair like wow and then i'm going to finish off with some of my 
kazoo hair oil. Just in my ends. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm just waiting for my hair to dry a little bit more before I blow dry it. But I thought I would make up a little drink concoction. I don't remember where I saw this, but I saw someone put apple cider vinegar with lemon in water. Wait, ew. This is best before 2017. Why have we had this that long? I know we have apple cider vinegar somewhere. Mom? What does it look like? I don't understand. This is the only thing I could find. Ah. Here, apple cider vinegar. Okay, five minutes later, had to get my mom to come and find it, but. And we don't have any lemons, which is great. So I'm just gonna use some lemon juice. I made it's not bad, but what are even the benefits of apple cider vinegar? Like, I don't even know. It's a natural laxative, lowers blood sugar levels, improves insulin sensitivity, reduces belly fat, lowers cholesterol. Okay, how much should I be having? One to two teaspoons per day. Okay, I did a tablespoon. Oh well. Uh. Wow, look how beautiful you are. Okay, I just finished blow drying my hair. I have like a love-hate relationship with the Revlon blow drying brush. The thing I like about it is it's really quick, but the annoying part is, is the brush is really big. So I find it's really hard to like blow dry and get all of your layers blown out, if that makes sense. Like everything just becomes one layer especially with my bangs here. I find it like I can't blow them out properly because the brush is huge. So I'm like really considering getting the Dyson Airwrap because there's a bunch of different brush sizes and everything. If you guys have it, definitely let me know in the comments your experience with it. I used to blow my hair out and then roll it up but I honestly just don't really have the patience for that anymore. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not too bad, but obviously it could be better. I'm just not good at blow drying my hair and you will never catch me with a legit blow dryer and like a brush. I do not have the skill or coordination for that, but I just blew out my hair because I need to go get Instagram photos because I have a Princess Polly haul going live within the next few days. I'm just waiting for the content to be approved. I sent it over, I think, Saturday morning. So hopefully they'll get back to me today or tomorrow and I can get it up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. But I thought I would show you guys the outfit that I'm wearing because it's so cute. Obviously, both of these are from Princess Polly, but for the clothing, I have this adorable white floral dress you guys will obviously see everything in the haul but this is called the Gemma mini dress white it is so freaking beautiful so i'm gonna wear that with these white cowboy boots is this not the cutest outfit you've ever seen so i'm gonna put some jewelry in right now and then i will show you guys my outfit when i have it on okay guys my camera's upstairs so i'm vlogging on my phone but i'm currently in the process of making food so basically my brother was supposed to go take an instagram photo of me but then jay called me and he asked if i wanted food and i was like no let me just make us lunch so i'm making these like really good shrimp spring roll things so i currently have a whole bag of shrimp just cooking here I mixed lemon in with the olive oil and then I obviously put all the shrimp in and then I seasoned with salt pepper 
and ground cayenne. So those are almost ready to be flipped right now. I just prepped all the veggies. So I have carrots, cucumber, lettuce, and then I also just made some sriracha mayo. So I'm sure you guys have probably seen these on TikTok, but basically they're little like spring roll things. So I need to get the actual rice paper here. So basically you take one out and dip it in water for like 20 seconds and then you take it out and you can add all the ingredients fold it up so let me go check on the shrimp yeah i feel like they're pretty much we will give it a few more minutes but i think i'll just vlog when i'm like making the actual wraps because can't really do much right now <laughs> okay shrimp is done i just put it in here i'm just gonna like show you guys the setup it looks very chaotic but i'm about to fill this up with water and then i'm going to make the wraps on here and then divide them onto those plates so let's get to it basically it just fill this plate or any like deep dish plate up and then i'm going to take a rice paper Make sure it's like fully submerged into the water. The shrimp smells so good. And leave it for probably like 20 seconds. I'm pretty sure I've made this in a vlog before, but it's like my favorite lunchtime snack. I always make shrimp because it's so easy and quick and it's delicious. Okay, this is probably good. So I'm gonna take it out the water drip so it's right there i'm gonna try to show you guys this to the best of my ability so i put sriracha mayo first and then i'm going to add some carrots cucumber lettuce and then i think i calculated four shrimps in each like that this needs a little bit more lettuce fold this over like that it's like pretty sticky so it stays and then i do the sides and there you have it super simple and i'm going to make the rest of them right now Tuesday it is 10 30 and I just got back from my workout class and I made my iced latte with my collagen powder you guys know the drill and I'm about to make a smoothie thing that I've been loving lately it's a peanut butter protein smoothie that I have well I've been having for like the past week after weighted workouts just because it's so good and to get more protein okay so what you want to do is take a banana ew okay i'm throwing that out maybe i'll use half of it and then take another banana that's smarter and then what you want to do is break it up like this so that it's easier to blend why are they all like this at the top that's so weird anyways so we'll get rid of that one again take natural peanut butter i just have the craft all natural one this is my favorite one i've just found it stays soft the longest and tastes the best like you know sometimes peanut butter can like natural peanut butter gets so hard i basically do like a huge scoop because i'm obsessed with peanut butter and then take a scoop of chocolate protein powder and then lastly, 
I just use almond milk, but you guys could also substitute this for regular milk. I just have the unsweetened vanilla and I do a cup of that. If you have a frozen banana, it will make this more thick and smoothie like. This basically just turns into a juice, but I personally really like it. It's like a little chocolate peanut butter protein shake. Oop. Okay, I need a bigger glass. Mmm. It's like chocolate peanut butter banana goodness. It is delicious. That is my little recipe of the day. I'm just gonna sit here, do a little bit of computer work, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, hi guys. It's a little bit later now. I am just about to run out and do a bunch of errands. So I'm going to the mall. You guys can probably guess, but I'm getting some pants hemmed. You would have seen this in my Princess Polly haul, but I got a pair of trousers and I'm super short. So I do need to get them hemmed up a little bit. So I'm quickly going to the mall to do that. And then I also need to run into Aritzia to grab more socks. Don't know where all my socks have gone, but I feel like I have none. I have a list on my phone, but it's in my bag. I don't want to get it. But basically, I need to go to shoppers to get more cotton pads. I need to get a little pot so I can plant this propagated plant. Like, look how many roots are in there. I need to get that potted. It's been like that for at least a few weeks now. And then I also need to go to the pet store because I need to get some sort of mat to put Tinsel's litter box on. I don't know if this is, this is pretty gross. The pee like leaks through the box onto the floor because I have like, here I'll show you guys. I have like one of the covered boxes. So I think it like leaks through that and gets on the floor, which is really gross. Yeah, I think that's it. And I just need to go downstairs and make some eggs because I haven't really ate anything besides that protein shake thingy. everyone i'm in the car and i just grabbed one of these daydream blackberry chai sparkling water infused with hemp oil and adaptogens i showed this in a previous vlog but i haven't tried this flavor yet so i wanted to try it on camera with you guys cheers interesting it's good it's just confusing because it's sparkling water but it's chai flavored and i'm used to chai being like an iced chai latte so it's kind of throwing me off a bit but it's really good there's only five calories no sugar i'll show you guys the thing little what is this called? Nutritional facts. Um, you can get this at Loblaws too. It's just like a nice substitute for, I don't really drink pop. Well, not really. I don't drink it at all just because it's not good for you. And I'm already drinking coffee, which honestly isn't amazing for you. So like that's my version of an unhealthy drink. But this is like a nice sparkling substitute such as like pop. And some sparkling waters are really bad for you. car and I got my pants what am I saying I dropped my pants off to be hemmed it was only like 12 bucks which isn't that bad I'm like literally dying of sweat and I was just kind of like looking around at shoe stores because I'm like trying to figure out a new 
white sneaker for fall. I'm thinking I want the Reebok Classic, but like the one that has the green stitching on it. Let me pull up a photo to show you guys. I went to Lur Lur <laughs> I can't talk right now. I went to Little Burgundy, the, the exact ones actually I was looking at. Um, I just need to like think about it a little bit more, but let me know what you guys think of this. I'm just like very over the Nike Air Force. Like I've been wearing them for so long and they are nice for some outfits, but I feel like these are really cute for fall. And I had a pair of Reeboks last fall, but they were too small for me. So I sold them to my friend, but like they're absolutely adorable. But anyways, I went in there looking at Doc Martens as well because I think I want like the low cut ones that I've been seeing everywhere. I took photos to compare. There's two different kinds that I've been looking at. So there's this one, I believe this is like the 1461 or something like that. And then there's this one, which is like, let me find the actual names of them because I know that'll be really helpful. There's either the 1853, which is the second one that I showed you guys, or the 1461, this one. I'm leaning towards this one because I already have the Platform Jaden and the other ones are pretty much the Platform Jaden just like low top but i definitely do like the look of these better so i'm trying to like figure out which pair i like 1461 80 53 let me know what you guys think i'm gonna ask you on my instagram as well i do like this pair better but i'm just not 100 sure because like this is literally the exact same as my platform docs just low okay i think i'm gonna get the platform <laughs> i just like made my mind i like platform stuff better i don't know i don't know I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna ask you guys. Actually, I'll ask you right now. I'm kind of mad because I bought the high top Jaden like I've been talking about last fall and I don't really know how much I'm gonna wear them this fall because I really like the low ones better. I haven't even worn the, the high top ones yet because like we have not been able to do anything. Like last year lockdown was so annoying. So love that for me. Okay, there we go. Let me know if you guys voted. Let me know which pair you like better and let's go home now. I also got so distracted talking about the shoes that I forgot to tell you guys that I went into Aritzia looking for socks. For some reason they don't have the crew socks left, but I saw they have like low cut socks, which kind of might be nice for sneakers. I'm just, bleh. <laughs> which might be nice for sneakers. So I think I'm gonna go just like look online and order a few pairs of socks and actually like go through my drawers and figure out if i'm being crazy or if i actually have no socks you know what i mean so i didn't end up buying any okay guys i am back at jacked up coffee you guys saw i went there in the vlog yesterday with rach but i am just really wanting a coffee going to get an iced almond milk latte i think it was so funny because i well it's not funny i'm just like explaining what's going on in my head right now but i was driving past a billboard on the way here and it was like mcdonald's one dollar drink day and i was like oh my gosh that's so cheap but then I was like, fuck that. I would literally rather spend five times that on a small business to support them and keep them running rather than like a huge corporation like McDonald's. And this is a new coffee place. I believe I already talked about it yesterday, but it was like an old Mr. Lube or something. So it's in a tire shop, which is so cool. So there's these like huge garage doors. You guys can like probably see it there's like garage doors there i got an iced oat milk latte yesterday i'm gonna try the almond milk one today maybe but i'm gonna ask if their almond milk is homemade because if it is i want to try it so let's go verdict is they don't make their almond milk so i just got the oat milk he was so nice i think he was the owner he was like australian or something i'm like what there's two shots of espresso in this. I don't know why I asked, but, well, I do know why I asked because you guys would have saw a few vlogs back when Rach and I went to Symposium Cafe, they gave us an ice latte with one shot of espresso. Like, what is the point? It was just pure milk. <laughs> pure milk, pure milk. What is wrong with me, guys? Yum. So, 
I just like how simple it is. I'm like so over sugary drinks. Don't get me wrong. I will still get my iced brown sugar espresso drink once in a while, but I've been really enjoying it. Just like plain iced lattes. Okay, bye. See you guys at home. I'm going to make food because I'm starving. I just got home. And when I was at the pet store, I didn't show this, but I bought one of these like flaked wet cat food things because I remember my friends in the past saying that their cat loves wet food and I've actually never given Tinsel any. So I want to give her one as like a little treat, just a little bit and then save the rest for another time. But I just got the Blue Wilderness Wild Delights Chicken and Turkey and Tasty Gravy flaked. It's 100% grain free which is cool it seems like a good option so i'm sure she will love it do you smell that mimi that's what it looks like okay i'm gonna give her just like a little bit to taste she was like i want some what is that wow you're so cute i think she likes it whoa Oh, stop it. Stop. That's not yours. Ooh, luxury bagel. Cam reads first. Gotta snap that. I picked him up, so he bought me food. Hey, get the... What's this? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, hi guys. I'm in my room. I came home to a package. So I thought I would unbox it for you guys. I'm like 99% sure this is my set active package because it says it's shipped through FedEx. Oh no, this is not from Set Active. This is a little PR package from Garage. It says, hey, Garage is teaming up with Kappa and we're excited to share this cute merch with you. If ever you decide to post, please don't forget to tag us. Interesting. Okay, this is fun. Firstly, we got a pair of leggings, I believe, and an extra small, they're just black. And they say it kappa on the back. It's really cute. Shorts and an extra small as well. Ooh, these are really cute. They're kind of like the shorts that I'm wearing today. Just like casual athletic shorts. And then next we got, looks just like a workout top. Cute. So like wear this over a sports bra or something. Oh, and it matches with the shorts. That's cute. Lastly, we have a little crop top to wear over a bra for working out that says Kappa. That is so cute. So thank you so much Garage and Kappa. I'm very excited and I'm probably going to wear these to my workout class tomorrow. And you guys will definitely see in the vlog because I'll be vlogging tomorrow too. So I will have all of these linked down below. I did it. <laughs> So I ended up ordering off of Browns because Little Burgundy didn't have a size 6. I don't know if the 6 is going to fit because I originally got a 6 in my Jaden 8 eyes, but they were way too small, so I had to get a 7. But my thinking is, is there's not like a huge boot at the back to like hold your foot in that like can catch your ankle, if that makes sense. So I'm thinking the 6 will probably be fine because it's like a lower shoe, if that makes sense. And also, I read all the, review, all the reviews for this shoe and everyone said to size down. So I'm like, really hoping that the 6 is fine. If not, I can exchange and get a 7. But I don't really know what to do about my Jadens. Like, I kind of want to sell them because I honestly don't think I'm going to wear them. Hey guys, I just finished editing this vlog. And obviously, I stopped recording at like 5 because I don't know why I just become a horrible vlogger at night because I don't really do anything. So that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I asked you on my Instagram what type of videos you want to see and almost every single one was vlogs. So feel free to leave more comments of video requests down below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in a few days. Thank you.